Thanks. Good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. <sighs> Mike, we're um, talking about the cornerstone of my exactly. platform. I'm not doing You'll a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray Eddie. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security looking at this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage, either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Doubt it. They'd have to be true gonks, or at least gonkily overconfident. Anyone else come to mind? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But... It could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know.
Come on. Let me show you around. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you, in case. was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. Last. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. No? Where's the blood from? What? Okay, never mind. I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist Violet, started stalking. Privacy. Me. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. Oh, my head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do.
What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind.
about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us the slip any second. V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what. Manufacturing info. Or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out of war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for Shit. weak spots, blood mail, rig elections. This can't end well, Johnny. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. 
Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis. Biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading. 
Forgot the title of his favorite movie? Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After. There was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Are you truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room... I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. That's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. Is some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's programming you and your wife. 
Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Could show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. Well, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. Won't let them get away with this. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with your eddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Mm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. Shall remain.